Hello, this is Carlos from Coralview welcoming you back to another episode of CBTV. Today, I will introduce you to the brand new Varios Variable Speed Controller. Varios is the brand new DC pump from Reef Octopus, engineered to fulfill the needs of even the most demanding hobbyist. What sets this pump apart is its advanced controller and features. In addition to allowing the pump to run at five different speeds, which is pretty normal for a DC pump out in the market, the Varios controller takes the pump to a new level, featuring a float switch connection, which allows you to connect a float switch included in the box to the controller. This is an added security feature that allows you to shut off the skimmer pump when your waste collector is full, or shut off the water pump when your sump water has reached a high or low level. In all, you don't need another module or controller to add a float switch to your system. It also features two different pause feed modes that will shut off the pump for either 15 or 60 minute intervals. This come handy when you're feeding the tank or conducting regular maintenance such as water changes. And the best feature for the various controller is a 0 to 10 volt input, which allows a third party controller such as a Neptune Systems Apex or Reef Angel to take over the pump and tell it what to do. In this mode, the various controller becomes an interface between the system controller and the pump, allowing you to create intricate programming using your system's controller native language. This is unprecedented controllability on a skimmer or water pump. In essence, you can use your system controller as your DC pump controller. In this video, we will concentrate on the various controller, become acquainted with all the lights and buttons, and learn how to use it as a full pump controller. We will explore the 0 to 10 volt input and how it connects to a third party controller on our next episode. The controller faceplate has a few buttons and lights, but once you learn what they all mean, it is actually very intuitive and simple to use. You will notice the controller's power button. This serves as a way to turn the pump on and off without having to disconnect the power plug. The power button also serves as a way to disengage the pause and feed mode. Speaking of the pause feed mode, you will find it as the left button on the control pad. Next to this button, you will see two LED lights signaling the pause interval. To engage, just press the pause button once and the controller will pause the pump for 15 minutes. Press the pause button once more and the controller will switch to a longer 60 minute pause. To cancel or disengage either of the pause feed modes, just press the power button once. The pump will then return to normal operations and its previous set speed. Since we're in the control pad section, look for the plus and minus buttons. This control the flow of the pump. Right next to the buttons, you will see a set of five LED lights and speeds. As you press the plus or minus buttons, the flow of the pump will increase or diminish accordingly. One LED runs the pump at the lowest speed and five run the pump at its maximum flow. On the same control pad, you will find a button that reads FS. This stands for float switch. The button turns the float switch mode on and off. The controller can run with or without the float switch installed. If you don't need it, just press the FS button to turn the mode off. The float switch mode status is marked by the LED light at the top of the controller. When the light is on, the controller expects a float switch to be connected to the controller. If the light is off, the controller will ignore the float switch. Please remember to turn off the float switch mode when you're not using it. If you leave the float switch mode on and remove the float switch, the controller will not run the pump. To the right of the float switch on off LED, you will find the float switch status. This light will remain off when the float switch is in closed position and will turn on when the float switch is open. Remember that this feature only works if the float switch mode is on. On the bottom of the controller, you will find a single 3.5 millimeter jack, which allows you to connect the controller to a third party system controller. We will go over this feature more in depth in our next video. And finally, on the side of the controller, you will see the float switch connection input, where you connect the float switch to the controller. The float switch is included in the box with your various pump. The float switch can be installed on a side of your sump when you're running a water pump or when using a skimmer pump, a waste collector, or the new Reef Octopus modified skimmer cup lid, which allows you to turn off the skimmer when the collection cup becomes full.
I hope this little crash course on the various controller gives you a good understanding on the great features and versatility of the new Reef Octopus Various Pump. If you're experiencing any issues with your Reef Octopus Various controller or pump, or have technical questions that you wish to ask, please head over to www.coralview.com forward slash support and submit a support ticket. If you are in need of replacement parts, head over to www.coralview.com for a complete list of all available parts. If you have any comments or tips to share with your fellow reefers, feel free to leave them in the area below. If this is your first time joining us, hit the subscribe button as we often release new videos related to reefing. Thank you again for watching CVTV and see you next time.